That motion carries. We are now at public comments. President Pro Tem, Karen, can you have the floor? Thank you, President McGinnis. First, uh, Raymond Nelson. Not present. Okay. Dr. Deidre Waterman. Since I was here, I stayed for public comment, and I'm glad I stayed. There were so many uh, things that happened at this council meeting. First, I want to say I'm so proud of Pontiac's young people. That was a display of our next generation day, and it was just very heartwarming to see the next generation is coming through the city of Pontiac. That was wonderful to see. Also, I see you honored somebody that I know very well, uh, Eloise uh, Simpson, who uh, was an attorney here in the city of Pontiac. And she, like many of the young, uh, particularly African-American attorneys who came to Pontiac, was mentored through the law firm of Hatchett, Brown, Waterman, and Campbell, a law firm that my husband was a senior partner before he was appointed judge. So I know very well how the young attorneys who were mentored and became a uh, part of the but also, but also, I want to finish, finish the comments I started on the Phoenix Center, center because that is an important part of the city project, project. And that was how we went to the city. city. And, and I know that it was a very complicated deal. deal. Uh, that uh, I had been uh, 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 pretty hurried uh, because, because the city was the city about to go into default on the settlement agreement for that long litigated matter. And we were able to pull out equity partners who then were going to, uh, they purchased the Ottawa Towers from us in a complicated deal. And then uh, we sold that back to them on the uh, uh, arrangement that they would do all the repairs. And I know many people were anxious now to see how we get that Phoenix Center back in operation. Began to, began to the use the amphitheater again and to have the festivals and fairs that people admired. But most it important, important that's, like that's, that's what was important, important to make a deal in which we got the right uh, things to take back to the city of Pontiac. So I wasn't told until afterwards, some months afterwards, that that, that deal was going on and went at the closing. And so that was very important for us to get. Uh, and I hired the attorney firm, uh, Elizabeth Rogers of Jaffe, who uh, uh, is very happy to come and talk to you uh, and give uh, more details of how we were able to bring that deal back to the win for the city of Pontiac and not to lose properties to the equity partners that were not meant to be conveyed to them, including the garage. Uh, I was hoping to find out. So I mean, so I mean I got got the attorney to, to come and help us get that get back. back. Also, what I wanted to mention to you, and I'm so glad that Amazon was here today because uh, that was a very proud thing for Pontiac to be able to bring Amazon to the city of Pontiac. Remember, they had turned down Oakland County and the Detroit metro area for the H2 headquarters. So we were able to do the deal, and I remember when they came to us and I had to sign an MBA, I brought all our city uh, department heads, and they said, so we're thinking about coming, coming to Pontiac, Pontiac and, and uh, uh, these are certain things that we want. And we were able to get them here. That took a lot of hard work to convince them that Pontiac was the place to be. This is the first city where they ever had a distribution center and a fulfillment center on the same site, anywhere in the United States. We're proud to have you here and proud for the partnership that you're bringing to the city of Pontiac for jobs. That concludes your time. Uh, thank you, uh, Dr. Waterman. Mr. Chuck Johnson.